What you need to know about solar, especially if you're thinking about converting it to electricity, i.e. photovoltaic. Man, I've said this a thousand million times this Sunday, but you're not a scientist. The amount of watts that the sun shines on our earth, that falls on our earth uh, per square meter, meter square is all that matters. That's all that matters. Thus, if the sun shines a thousand watts on a square meter, you aren't getting 1100 watts of electricity. You're not. <laughs> In fact, you are not getting 300 watts of electricity. You're not. Maybe in a lab someplace at MIT, you might be able to squeeze out 3,500 or 350 watts, but not on a rooftop panel. It's just not happening. So can we stop that? So you got to understand how it works. And on average, the sun shines about 1,000 to 1,100 watts per square meter on average in the earth. All right. So, but on, that's on average at 12 o'clock, right? With no clouds, 1,100, 1,000, 1,100. How much does it shine on average throughout the day? Well, that's the difference. And then Atlanta is about 175. So let me show you why. I think this is incredibly important. So let's pull this up. So we're just going to click on right here. Smack dab in the middle of the uh, the most intense part of the sun shining right now, wherever that is, that's between uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Right around Hawaii right now is getting 925 watts per square meter. All right, so if we can convert that 925 watts at 20% efficiency, you could turn around and generate 185 watts on your meter square panel, or solar panel. But right here in uh, good old Ireland, I guess that's Ireland, right? Right there. You're getting, hello, darkness. You're not getting anything. You're not getting anything. Right here, uh, right there, and that's about Atlanta, we'll say right there, you're getting five. Why? Because the sun's going down. It's not getting anything, even though it's not day, dark out. You're only getting, you're just, the sun's not above you. Right here at 32, let me just get rid of that. Let's see. So right here, what is that? Wisconsin. You're getting about 15 watts a meter square. <laughs> I don't know why people argue this. It's, it's odd to me that they say, you're, you're, I, I don't get it. They're saying, you don't understand. You're not a scientist. You're not a climate scientist, blah, blah, blah. It's that simple. In Hawaii right now, you're getting 950 watts per meter square. Wherever this is right here, uh, I don't know where that is. You're, I guess that's the same thing. Hawaii, there you go. You're getting 925 watts per square meter. In Africa, you're not getting anything. It's zero. In South America, nothing. In California, right now, you're getting about three 300 watts per meter square. Thus, half the day, you're not getting anything. Half the day, you're getting something, but a good portion of that day, you're not getting much. As we can see right here in California, you only get 300. So if you times that by 0.2, that's 60 watts. That's it. What if we go in here even better? Let's see. Oops. Oh, sweet. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, I love it. Man, I, this guy's website is just, I love it. I could sit here and look at this forever. If you, Oh, look at that. So here's Michigan. Nothing. You're not going to even though the sun's shining. Yeah, well, it's not dark out yet. Like I'm looking outside right now and I'm right here. I'm getting, it's not dark, but it's getting pretty doggone. Well, I mean, it's not dark, but it's, you're not getting any, you're probably getting a few. So he's probably a little bit ahead. Like what time has he got? He's got 16. What time is it? Yeah, I guess that's about right. So we can see here right now. So in uh, whatever this is, Missouri, St. Louis, you're getting 32 watts. You're not going to, you're not going to power anything on that, man. I'm sorry. You're just not. So, that's how it works. If you don't understand that, I wonder if we go click on this animate and an animate, whatever. Come on. Come on. Ah, geez Louise. I, I gotta get used to this. I've been using this macro so long, it's still just it never drives me insane. Well, that didn't work like it's open. <laughs> Try get, how do I okay? Hold on just a second. There we go. So stop. Oh my good, there we go. Is it doing it? There we go. Doing it. Go on. There we go, I guess. Okay, I don't know why. Anyway, I don't know what's going. On. There we go. Okay, so it's showing you. How to do it like that. Maybe we can see where the sun's going like that. Um, you can kind of figure that one out on yourself. Uh, the calculation. Uh, uh, for solar intensity are based on equations from renewable and efficient electric power systems by Gilbert Mas Gilbert Master Chapter 7. Calculations are made using JavaScript and visualized using Leaflet, which is a library with open street map tiles. So that's pretty cool. Um, this, is, this was a fun project me, for me to learn online mapping tools and programming. That's awesome. Anyway, so there you go.
You're not getting a thousand or eleven hundred square meters of, of watts per square meter, and at, at all times, you're just not. You're getting at twelve o'clock with the sun over, directly overhead, with no clouds, and then it stops. And that's the most you're ever going to get. And so then you got to take the efficiency of your PV panel and the efficiency about twenty. I just did a video where I just uh, what did I do? I posted a video where they're showing they have some um, nanotechnology which would double double the efficiency to forty. I'm, I had a guy on my YouTube channel saying it's only a matter of time for 87% efficiency. It's like, dude, what is going on, man? It's weird to me. I know you want that to be true, but it's not. Anyway, I thought that I'd share this with you. I love this. Um, it kind of goes back to the uh, greenhouse gas emission thing where I'm just showing you if you fly from here to London, uh, you're, you're creating a lot of CO2. So don't do that. All right, thanks.